When I think of my time at Westminster, uh, I'm filled with joy and uh, gratitude. I had so many wonderful experiences there um, that it's hard to limit it to just a few. But when I reflect back, one very special moment was um, during the flood that was a few years ago, one of our members' homes was flooded, Linda McCaskill. And we spent some, um, just a beautiful day there with her as many of the members cleaned out her house. I sat with her in the yard. Um, we looked at photo albums that were rescued and saved. But for me, that was a vision of what the church uh, can be um, in its very best moments as they come together and care for one who is hurting very deeply. So that was a snapshot of, of a special moment. Um, my daughter Katie was married at Westminster. And so that was a, a very beautiful moment uh, as we looked up at the, the beautiful blue cross um, stained glass window in the front um, as she processed in a very, very beautiful sacred moment. And I can't imagine a more wonderful place for her to be married. And that was um, five years ago. She's doing well and has two little children um, since the wedding. Um, the prayer study was exceptionally meaningful for me as well as for many members of the church. Um, we, I think we all grew in our faith. Uh, I especially as I led the prayer study, but very, very meaningful. And I had no idea there were so many different kinds of prayer. And we practice those different kinds of prayer, but sitting around that table there in the education building and sharing um, our experiences, for me was, was my favorite part, at least of the education part there. Um, in early service, Joey and Dave Belding and I played guitar and it was, it was joyous, sometimes crazy, uh, but just, um, just so much fun. And so from the early service, that was what I, what I remember most uh, fondly. But then of course, worship in the sanctuary was just, just so beautiful and so meaningful. And I loved sitting there in the pulpit in that little place where I could uh, close my eyes and listen to the choir singing or listen to Bonnie playing her violin or the beautiful organ. Those are my uh, most favorite memories. There are many, many more. Um, probably the, the most would be getting to know the people at Westminster because they are so dear, continue to be so dear to me through Facebook and other mediums. Uh, but it was a joy and a privilege to serve as interim for, um, for a year and a half, almost two years at Westminster. I would say that God is still with you. God's with you and God will be continue to be with you in the future as God has been in the past. And um, there's still yet something for God to do there. And so I would not give up hope, but would continue to dream and um, think about the future. And I think God is calling us forward into the future. Mm -hmm to be open-minded um, to whatever God might have for us to do. It is not going to look like the past, I don't believe, but that doesn't mean it can't be just as wonderful as the past. Mm -hmm. And so I would hope that people would open their minds to what can be and, and dream crazy dreams. It's okay to dream crazy dreams. It's okay to do things differently than we've done in the past because it could be God calling us to what he wants us to do. So the wilder the dream, the better. 